Yeah, welcome once again to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to cut main trouser. Or oh, in other language, maybe you will say male trouser according to English. So the first thing what we're going to do to cut trouser, we need measurement. So in this one we have measurement, the length, the tie, the waist, the ankle and the flap. In some measurement you may put the hip and the rest but in this one I want to show you a simple way of doing it without all this the jamborees so now let's go straight to our cutting so now our length is our length is 42 so we measure from the top 42 this is 42 so this is our length 42 here so because our length is 42 we need to add a bit for the folding down so let's make it 44 so this is 44 so then the next thing we're going to do is to measure the the half area of the the trouser so we are the tie or the flap I say tie where the flap is located so where the flap is located mostly for people that doesn't have big you know behind let's see in everything everything we give them nine and a half from top to here nine and a half so this is how we measure we'll just give it nine and a half then that is the area of the the flap nine and a half then from the tie we have the tie here is is the tie is twelve and a half that means when you calculate it completely the complete tie here we we'll say 12 and a half let's say 12 and a half the main measurement is 25 you see the main measurement of the tie is 25 so let's correct this one the main measurement is 25 so we divide the tie into two I give us 12 and a half so this is where we place it 12 and a half you see this is 12 and a half and remember this is the flat area this is it then this is the tie this is the tie here so the next thing we're going to do we measure our waist from the top since our waist is 32 here the waist is 32 here so the next thing we're going to do is to divide the waist into four so 32 we divide it into four let's take an example the half of 32 is 16 we divide 16 again this is a simple way simple tactics if you don't want to bore your head with too much calcula calculation then you divide this one it gives you eight so now we measure eight here so we measure it this is it so so we measure it then this one will draw it down I measure it equally here then we connect this one up with the eight up so you see then the next thing we do is to measure the knee the knee from the flap area to the knee is 15 some people put 16 but let's say 15 so as I was saying then we measure the the ankle the ankle we said is 14 here is 14 so 
14 divided by 2 is 7. So now we are making the angle here to be 7. So if the angle is 7, then plus a little allowance, then we give it just let's put an inch to it here. So now we're going to connect the the ankle to the flap area so remember this is the knee so we may decide to make it the same with the ankle to be a straight trouser or we may make it a bit bigger that means if you decide to measure according to your own pattern you want to measure the ankle too you can measure it but in our measurement here i didn't measure the ankle because i want it to be not too bigger than the than the ankle i mean the knee not too bigger than the ankle so i put it um let me make it 10. so let me make it 10. that is round is 20 so now i'm going to connect plus a little allowance of one inch i'm going to connect this this and the ankle the knee and the flap area so now because i'm not using ruler so let me use the tape to do that so this is what we we see here. So draw it. So this is the line down here then the flap area okay let me draw this one then the flap area this is where you give it another curve the curve should be maybe two inch let's say two inch so bring it like this then it will connect here so that is it so now we are cutting our front part of the trouser this is the front part of the trouser So I'm not going to cut it straight from the main line, I'm giving a bit of allowance so that I have chance to so this is it. This is the front part of the trouser, the two front part of the trouser. So I separate this one, the two front. So the next thing we're going to do is to cut the back part of the trouser. So we are laying the front part of the trouser to cut the back. 
So this is what we are going to do. You make sure your material is has no wrinkle on it and this is straight so that you'll be able to lay the front part very well. So now we are laying the front part. This is our front. We lay it so that we'll be able to remove the back part of it and there's something I need to tell you the flap area so at the back this one is the flap area while the back one is the seat area so there's one thing I really want you to know the back of the trouser has to be a bit higher than the front part of it so through this side the back is higher should be higher than the front because this one and from here to here is where your your this thing your some people call it buttocks so that is where your buttocks lie or oh, you sit on it where you sit down so this is how we do it we just pick this like this so it will come like this then here at the zip area or the flap area at least you add from the top at least two and a half inch to it two and a half inch but when you, when you get to the center you add at least let's say four and a half depending on the buttocks of the individual so pick it like this so when you come here you make it same let's say same four and a half so this is it here then you join connect the lines then you connect the line so when you connect the line then you connect this line to this one too so when you connect it then the side of the trouser again from here you give it the same two inch two and a half that you put here this is where it comes then you connect this one so this one will come direct then it will connect with the two and a half down at the knee at the knee position here then you bring it down to the lower part of the, the ankle of the trouser so this you connect it because this the way i'm doing this one i'm doing it the way everybody can understand even those who doesn't go to school and they want to get to know how to sew without big big english and technicalities of different languages so at least with this they will be able to understand how you can cut a trouser so it's equally applicable to men and equally female depending on how big the buttocks of the individual is so i think so let me cut the back part too
then I will separate the two sides of the material. So now we have our front part of the trouser and the back part of the trouser. So I hope with this one you'll be able to cut the trouser. So the next tutorial I'm going to teach you how to sew it and connect every part of the trouser. So meet me on the next tutorial. We want to do that and don't forget subscribe for more of these lessons and simple video tutorials for everybody thank you